What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be walking a client of mine, Sharon. Shout out to Sharon, a top producing real estate agent in Oceanside, California, which is a little outside of San Diego, um, which is where I'm at. So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego. Been helping local business owners, been helping real estate agents run Facebook ads, um, brand themselves on social media market, um, on social media through social media marketing, right? Been doing all that since 2016. So I'm super fired up, been dropping videos up here on YouTube since then. Um, just tutorial day in the life and, and really just taking clients through through coaching calls, really coaching calls on Facebook ad structure, on custom audiences, on targeting, on all that good stuff. So in today's video, you guys, what we what what I've been able to do with her already, um, again, shout out to Sharon, her and her husband, Victor, they freaking crush it in real estate um, and, and they do very, very well. So now they're looking to just take their brand, take their strategies, take all their ideas to social media marketing, but 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 narrowing it in to Facebook advertising. That's Facebook advertising. And so if you guys are a local business owner, I cannot encourage you enough is learn Facebook ads, learn TikTok ads, learn Instagram ads, learn how to run an ad on LinkedIn, whatever. Learn how to run a local ad, okay, if you guys are serving a local community. Um, so again, Sharon is out there in, in Oceanside, California, um, now just taking her brand locally, right? Now, now, now simply pulling out her phone, doing videos, educating people on what it takes to buy and sell real estate, and then going for the lead. So in today's training video, what we've already done is we've already, we've already, um, Ran a like ad. That's the first Facebook ad you guys want to run. So if you have a Facebook business page, go and look at your like count. How many likes do you have? 100, 200, 300, if that. Run a Facebook like ad. And, and if you need help with that, reach out, comment below, send me an email or something, and I'll walk you to that like ad. That's the only ad I don't have. In fact, maybe I'll make a YouTube video um, on that on that, on that that um, ad. That's a video that I haven't made, actually, because it's part of my coaching where I actually teach people how to get thousands of likes on their Facebook business page for a few bucks, right, on a Facebook ad. So that's ad number one. That's ad number one. Take the like count up. Ad number two, if you're a local business owner, and even if you're servicing the, the country or the, the world in that in, in that sense, this next this next Facebook ad, Facebook ad number two, um, is is really the first Facebook ad. So in this case, again, being local, her first her second Facebook ad was a is a local ad. That's the first ad we're, we're now targeting her local community. The like ad, you're targeting everyone. You're targeting multiple countries, you're targeting worldwide. Um you're putting in that keyword. So whatever industry you're in, your specific keyword. If you're in real estate, the word's real estate. If you're a plumber, the word is plumbing. Um, if if you're if you're if you're a restaurant, the word maybe could be food, right? So just that broad general super, you know, um 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 broad keyword is all you need. And then you're targeting worldwide, worldwide. That's the like ad. That's how you get thousands of likes fast for literally a few bucks. But the next ad is, is again, if you're local, the second ad is when I, is when I recommend now we start targeting local, right? So that ad is how, is, is what I coach agents on local business owners, but again, main, mainly agents since 2016, real estate agents, real estate brokers. Uh, but again, this, the reason why I dropped the con the content over here on, on YouTube and really know that I, that I can bring value to you guys on YouTube because it really applies to any business. The things that I teach, um, social media marketing, Facebook advertising, it, it it applies to any business. These are basic, basic steps, right? So this for this second ad is where is where she simply introduced herself. So if you're a local business owner, pull out your phone, Introduce yourself, your background, your experience, your passion, how long you've been in the industry, why you're so fired up to help people in your industry. Um, that could be a good one minute, two minute video, a simple introduce, uh, it, it, it introduce your introduce, what do I call it? I call it intro video. That's what I call it. A simple intro video is 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 what you want to do. That's the that's the video where we now start getting data. Um with that, the whole strategy is, let's say, for example, it's a one-minute video. You're pulling out your phone. Hey, guys, this is David. Just wanted to introduce myself. Where's my damn phone? Just wanted to introduce myself, right? Give you a little background. Give you a little experience on what I'm up to and, 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 and how long I've been building my business and why we're so fired up to help people like you build a social media agency or whatever, right? Like whatever, right? So, so it's just a background experience. That's an intro video. So what we did is we ran that video to her local area. She's a real estate agent. She's farming a few zip codes. She's looking to just dominate a, a specific town in her area. Um, and so that's where it starts. We target that area, get thousands of people to view that video, right? Get thousands of people. Literally, I don't know if we got tens of thousands. We got thousands. I don't know. We'll look, we'll look today. I'm going to jump on a call with her right now. That's why I just wanted to kind of give you a little prep. 
of what we're going to be doing. I'm going to take you through a, a real coaching call um, on, on some basics, but, but I truly believe this is what everybody misses, man. This is what everybody misses. So again, we took that one minute video, whatever it was, got thousands of views on it. Now we're going to turn around, take that data. We already created a custom audience. So that's the first thing you do. You, you, when you go and publish a video, like let's say for example, it's a, you're going to run a video ad post it on your business page first, right? Post it on your Instagram first, and then go into your business manager and 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 run that ad. And once you publish it, once you actually schedule it to go live tomorrow at 6 a.m., for example, um, which is what I teach, right after you, you set up that ad, you go right away and set up your custom audience. So if it's a video, one minute video, set up a custom audience around those who watch it for 25%. That's what we did in this case, right? So she put out a video, first video targeting her local area, got thousands of people to view it. We we set aside a custom audience. So Facebook is, is capturing the data of those who are watching 25% of her video. Now today, as we jump on our, our next coaching call, what I'm going to do with her is I'm going to, we're going to take that custom audience, create what Facebook calls a lookalike audience. Then we're going to set up our next ad. And that next ad, let's call it the third ad, is going to be a conversions ad. That's when we're going to start going for leads. So all we're doing is we're giving Facebook this data of this custom audience. Hey, Facebook, here's, here's an audience of people who watched my video for 25%. Now, um, now I want you, Facebook, now I want you to go out there and find me hundreds of thousands of more people that resemble my audience as far as buying patterns, clicking patterns, watching video patterns online on, on Facebook, um, um, and all the above. Facebook has hundreds of data points on us. They know everything we're clicking on. And, and one simple way to understand that too, you guys, and, and that's something that I don't even care about as far as privacy. Oh, they're knowing where the hell I'm, they know where I'm at freaking on my, on my iPhone. I got to now make sure I check the settings. Don't track me and all this crap. It's like, dude, we're all being tracked. I got cameras outside my office, probably looking at me right now. Like, I don't even care. Like whatever, as long as you guys ain't doing shady shit, you ain't got nothing to worry about. So do your damn thing, build your business, make your money, freaking go get your family and, and, and be happy. It's, it's, it's the scammers. It's people that are just out there trying to freaking get, you know, get, get over on people in, in a bad way. And it's like, dude, those are the people that got to worry about all this privacy shit. I don't care if you're freaking pixeling me. Right. So it's like, that's kind of the, the, the way we're one, one huge way that Facebook has so much data is that today, if you have a website, you you either have a, have a website or you have a landing page, and that's another thing we're going to be jumping into with with Sharon is I'm going to be jumping into her landing pages, and we're going to be taking a few links out of there. Um, so so you guys are in for a very detailed call here. Um, you're going to get a ton of value out of this. So if you do, give me a like. If you're not going to subscribe, okay, cool. Just give me a like. Give me a like. Just smash that like button. Smash that like button. And if you do subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. But but what I'm saying is that um, is that if you have a website today, right? 2022, 2022 three and beyond. If you have a website today, any website, it doesn't even have to be, it's yours, but but you could have got it from your company, right? Your company, you're with Keller Williams, you're with EXP, you're with freaking any other r random company and you have a website. Or again, you're, you're, you're the actual business and you have a website or you have landing pages, right? So anyone that's building a website today knows enough to put a Facebook pixel on that site. Even if you're not running ads, not running Instagram ads, not running any paid ads, it doesn't matter. Most people today that are building a website, they have in the, they have enough knowledge to know at least put the damn pixel on it, right? So because millions and millions of websites have Facebook pixels, that's one huge way and one huge reason why Facebook has so much data on us. They know everything we're clicking on, right? So, so I look at it as a good thing, you guys. I'm an advertiser. I'm a business owner. I'm trying to reach the most relevant people. It's like, dude, this stuff is is important, and and I love it, right? I'm fired up about it. Um, but but anyways, what Facebook does, you guys, what we're gonna do on this call again is we're gonna take her custom audience, create a lookalike audience where Facebook goes and finds us many more people that resemble our audience. And then again, you turn around on ad number three and you start running conversions to the lookalike audience. That's what we're going to do today. Okay, you guys, so shout out to Sharon, shout out to her husband, Victor, out there in Oceanside, freaking doing the damn thing and crushing it. Let me get Sharon on the line. And um, you guys, grab some freaking popcorn, grab, some, grab a pen and paper, take some notes. And again, man, if you're new, subscribe. I'm out here in San Diego. I've been dropping content like this, just day in the life, tutorials, Facebook advertising, 
advising landing pages since 2017, right? Servicing thousands and thousands of clients, local business owners, real estate agents, and just fired up about it, man. I just truly believe it's like, dude, we're all trying to build a brand. We're all trying to market on social media. But if you're a local business owner, you need to learn how to target your local area. Bottom line. And that's why I'm so fired up about paid ads, about Facebook ads, YouTube ads, whatever. It's like, dude, you can bring value if you have this skill, um, which is what what I have, for example. Now I'm going to bring the value to Sharon, right? Um, or or if, if, if you're building a business, this is stuff you're either going to have to know yourself or you're going to have to end up delegating and hiring people like me to run for you. So again, subscribe, smash the bell, you guys. Drop me a comment. Um, let's get on with the, with, with the damn thing. Let me, let me get Sharon. So the post is on the business page. What we always want to do is just quadruple check it, right? For grammar errors, periods, nothing, you know, dots, whatever, like if we need to reword it. So attention ocean site, perfect. Calling out the audience, right? Just following the three bullet points, calling out the audience, telling the story, and then the call to action. So number one, attention ocean site, right? Perfect. So I'm sure you have seen the market shift in the last few weeks. As I speak with my clients, I'm I am constantly asked, is it still a good time to buy a home? Well, the answer is yes. But if you have, if you have to have, if but if you have to have the right realtor, so does that sound right? But you, oh, but you have to have the right realtor on your side who knows what's going on in today's market. Want to know the strategies? I will give. I give all my clients when it comes to buying a home fast and the best price possible. Then click perfect, perfect, perfect. So click the link, test that, make sure that's working. SharonBellRealtor.com. And then maybe next to the words next to the link, buyer guide, go back to that real quick. Perfect. Buyer guide. So let's edit that part. Let's just, let's put something more call to action. -y. So um, you can leave that. You can leave that, but we'll just add something to the beginning of it. Click, click, learn more to download your free buyer's guide or, 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 or click, click. I would probably take the link out of there. Let, let you can, I guess you can leave the link there, but there's going to be a learn more button below. And okay. that's where normally all the clicks come from. The, click, the cl it. clicks can come from there too. The clicks can come from there as well. But but you can leave it there for sure. It doesn't hurt. But the but the whole thing is to drive them to the to the learn more button as well. But it doesn't matter. If they click there, cool. If they click the button, whatever. But I wanted to kind of just tweak the words. Click, click, click the link or click here. Yeah, let's just put that. Put click here and then put the link. That's fine. Click here to download your free buyer's guide today or click here to download now or click here something like that something more you know actiony click here to download now perfect and then just and then i kind of like the learn more too but that's that's cool i'll yeah, use click, that click learn more to download your free buyer's guide got it that's what it's all about so the link there is not really necessary um because again Facebook ads is super specific. That's what we're going to go into right now. It's super, super specific. Whatever objective you choose is the objective Facebook is going to is going to optimize for. So when you have a link in the description or in the text, in the ad copy, when you have a link, that's more of an engagement ad. So when you go and run an ad, you run engagement. And what you're telling is you're telling Facebook, hey, get me, get find me people that are likely to engage with this post. Click like, comment, share it, click the link in the text. That's engagement, right? That's a very specific ad. That's engagement. That's why a lot of times when you see ads that have, and you probably don't even notice it, it's just subconsciously because we see this stuff in, in the newsfeed all damn day. But you ever come across posts that have thousands of likes and, yeah. and, and hundreds of shares and you're like, damn, this person must be popular. And they're not a celebrity. They're not even anyone. You're just like, yes, hey. yes. That two ways that could have happened. The, the, the post could have gone viral. It could have gone viral, but 99% of the time it's from an ad. It's from an Got ad. It. And that's, a, that's a very specific ad. That's an engagement ad. That's an engagement ad. So if I want to get this post freaking 300 likes and, and, and 700 people to comment and 500 people to share it, we would run engagement. Got it. That would that's... get people, right? That's engagement. Um, what were you going to say? I'm sorry. No, no, no. But 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 since we're going for leads and since we're going for the objective of getting that person off of Facebook to an actual landing page, that's conversions. So so Facebook is now going to optimize on this ad that we're going to run. They're going to optimize for people that are likely to click the learn more button, people that are likely to go off of Facebook, people that are likely to actually fill out a form. That's what we're optimizing for. Right. Okay. And, it's, and it's our first ad. So that's why the whole thing here is consistency. I could not be more fired up for you, but it's all about consistency. That's where I see majority. And I'm going to keep it real. 
that's after doing this for since 2016 and, and speaking to literally, literally probably a few thousand agents by this time, I, I can honestly say, and, and I don't, and, and I'm not the one to really just go out there and say, Hey, I have all the success with people and blah, blah, blah. It's not even about shine on myself at all. The reality is what I'm trying to give the fact that where everyone drops the ball, I'll take the, I'll, I'll take a person this far but where everyone drops the ball is on the one yard line where everyone drops the ball is they simply don't stay consistent. Yeah, They'll yeah. run an ad here and there. And so, and, and, and because they didn't get 77 leads on the one ad that they spent 70 bucks on that they ran for <laughs> two days, they're like, damn, I, this shit don't work. This don't it's work. Like, yeah. Oh dude. It's like, you got to stay consistent. And, 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 and it's really that simple. One post every 15 days. The fact that this is going to run right now, Sharon, and get thousands and thousands of views, Without you literally having to post another thing for the next two weeks, and the thousands of views are coming from my local area. That's amazing. It's like, dude, that's like night and day compared to what your the norm is doing. What the norm is doing right now is trying to fix that pretty image on Canva so they can post it to their three hundred friends that live across the country. <laughs> right. You no, know, it's like, dude. So, so I'm I'm just fired up. But, but again, it's consistency. This is this is really this is really ad number one, right? Where we're now going for leads. And, and it's game time, but, but, okay. but you just got to stay consistent one every 15 days. Keep it that simple. So, so, so text is good. Text is good. We're good. Let's go to the ads manager. And what we're going to do now, actually, you know what? Go to, um, yeah, go to the ads manager. And then let's look at that, that, that ad. So how did, how did the video ad the brand awareness? You know what? Um, after that day that I spoke to you, <clears throat> I was like, okay, well, let me add another 75 bucks to this because if I, I wanted to get closer to. Go to <clears throat> go into when you're when we look at numbers like this, go into the map. Actually, yeah, it is it's it's already a maximum. I'm looking at the calendar in the top right. So September 5th to the 23rd. Um, yeah, that's fine. So I, I increased it to 150 and I actually believe it did get us more because remember we were only sitting at two something. Okay, 25. So we at least got to almost 400 now. And 20 and how, how long is the video? The video is um oh gosh, how long is this video? The video was. This is the intro one, right? Yeah, that's the intro one. So click on it. Go in. So it reached twenty one thousand people. A minute, a <clears> minute twelve. Yeah. See, so so twenty five percent. What's twenty five percent of a minute twelve? Um, twenty five, thirty seconds. That's pretty good. Yeah, thirty seconds. So, so it's still it's still considered a small. Go into maximum again. Just update that calendar. Um, September fifth, in the top right. So just click on that and come to maximum <clears throat> just hit update. Just hit update. Could okay. you read? Yeah, update. Um, yeah, it's still the same numbers, but 392. How many people watched it for three for 15 seconds? Scoot it. Yeah, scoot it to the left. Is there a um 1200? The three plays. Let's do that real quick. Let's create the audience around because we're gonna do a two-stepper here. We're gonna create the audience around around the through plays. Let's do the Got through. It. Let's do the three plays. There's 1,200, and then we take that audience and we create a lookalike audience, and that's the that's the audience we're going to run an ad to. And again, this is this is a form of testing. As we go into Facebook ads, as we really really break out now, it's all about testing, and all you're doing is testing audiences. Um, and one would also be testing video. That's it, or images, or images. But but we're we're running with video, so it's really just one video. We're running running this for 15 days, in 12 days, 13 days, we'll review it. If it's, if it's, if it's, if we're capturing leads, cool, we'll leave it and let it go on. If it's not, we'll turn it off. And on the six, on the 15th or 16th day, we'll run ad number two. Got it. Okay. And let that run for the, for the remainder of the month. And, and that, and that's, and that, and, and keeping it that simple. Um, but what we want to do is test. We want to test the audiences. We want to test the targeting. We want to test different custom audiences, different lookalike audiences. So let's do this. Let's click the three lines on the top left or, um, or your bookmarks, but we're going to go to audiences. <clears throat> audiences and let's just create a quick audience um around around the through place of the intro because we have 25 percent yeah the intro video 25 percent but that that audience isn't that big so 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 let's do let's do create audience let's click the blue one and let's do custom audience and let's do video and then next and then let's yeah hit the drop down and come down to through play which is 15 seconds so um and then just choose Go in the top right, choose videos. And then um, yeah, just Facebook page or in the other page. Um, um well they're gonna say, um oh, I forgot my train of thought. We're doing the three yeah, plays. The, the intro video. Yeah, the intro video. 
Okay, good. Now the retention, drop that retention down. Put the put the days at at thirty days. Anyone that's watched this video in the past thirty days is is in this audience. And then audience name, um, intro video, and then in parentheses, uh, through play, or or fifteen seconds. Yeah, through play. You, put through play. Seconds. Okay, through play. Yeah, through play. Are you recording this part? Yeah, all of it. So parentheses. Yeah, through play. Perfect. Oh, no, around around the word through play. But yeah, that's fine. So create audience. So now here's what we're going to do. This is where we flip it. This is where we flip it. This is where we now say, hey, Facebook, here you go. Giving it to on a silver platter. Hit done. Here's here's 1,200 people who watched my video for at least 15 seconds. Go and find me hundreds of thousands more that resemble them. Got it. All in this all in this area of, of Oceanside. That right? makes sense. So, so now check the box of that video, intro video. So now we're going to create a lookalike audience. Um, and in real estate, it's called a special ad. Click the three dots. So in real estate, it's called a special ad audience. And this, no, to the right, um, the three dots right above, right by delete. Oh, got it. Um, and then you're going to create lookalike. So in, in housing, we're going housing. So in housing, it's it's called special ad audience. And I don't know why you didn't see it. Actually, you know what? Hit the X. Let's, let's do this real quick again. Hit the X. Click the blue button. Uncheck, uh, yeah, uncheck the intro video. Let's see if it if it's on the blue button. Click the blue button, create audience. You should see it. Yeah, see, you're in housing. So it's it's really called special ad audience, which we should have saw right there on the drop down. Um, and they're and they're updating this too. And this is a whole this is this this was the latest Facebook news. I just watched one of my mentors do a video on it where when it comes to the housing, when it comes to the housing category that you're in. They're tweaking the lookalike audiences, they're which is now called special ad audiences. So again, that's why this is going to be a form of testing. We're going to create this lookalike audience, which is which again should be special ad audience for you, but it's but it's but it's not updated yet. Um, but we're going to still create it anyways, and still and still target it and still test it. So in the future, that should say special ad audience. Some okay. some of my clients, their accounts already updated, and a lot of my client their accounts already updated, and it says special ad audience right there. But yours says yours still says look alike, and and nice. we'll just create it just for the hell of it to see to see what we can do. So create it look alike, um, and then and then select your source. So click the drop, yeah, click click inside the box. No, above. I'm sorry, not that one. Yeah, click inside the box, and then um, actually, you know what? X out of this one. Let's just check the box, and then we'll click the three dots again. So intro video, and then the three dots, and then create look alike. Okay, cool. So so the source. Go ahead and click inside that box. Actually, I guess it's the same thing, but yeah, that's fine. And that's actually the, the pixel. So your lookalike audience source may not include some people using CSA. That's why this whole Apple iOS update 14.5 thing is 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 making Facebook change a, a lot of the a lot of the privacy settings when it comes to this. Um, and because you're in housing, that's kind of what we're what we're up against is the privacy under housing. So Hit the create, and this looks a little different because I think, yeah, because they're updating it. But create new source, click on that drop down, create new source, and you just go to um, go to custom audience. Yeah, see, this isn't, yeah, yours is, they're not even, they're not even allowing it. Hit cancel, do that again, hit the three dots. Let me see that again. Cool. See, put in their other sources. Normally it was just one down through value based sources, but now it's in other sources. So here's what we're doing we're creating it around. The through play we're creating it around an existing custom audience right so scroll down you'll find your um your find your um your intro video through play yep perfect so it's right there okay good now select audience location you're going to go united states so just in there type in united states and as we go into the actual ad setup that's when we narrow it into oceanside okay so get away from that drop down okay now down below you're going to go three so the number one you're going to turn that to yeah come down to three so here we're creating three different lookalike audiences. And, and again, when it comes to testing Facebook ads, when it comes to testing Instagram ads, it's all about testing the creative, which would be the image, creating multiple images, running an ad and, and, and putting five different images and running that at one time. But in your case, we're not testing that, we're running video. That's, that's what we'll be testing. And we'll be testing that every 15 days, video. But then also we're testing audiences. So some, some people will run We'll run, we'll run this next conversion ad and only target one of the three. Some will will come in and run and run a Facebook ad and target all three, right? So so don't try to master this right now. As we move forward, we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna keep teaching you, but these are again just just 
three different audiences. One is zero to one, two is one to two, and then three is two to three. So okay. go ahead and click create audience. So so Facebook is 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 gonna we're gonna really put them to work and and really just help have them go and find so many more people that resemble this through play audience. Okay, so so those are perfect. So those are ready to go. Awesome. So now so that's how you create a look like audience based on a custom audience. Now in the future, in the future, again, we're just getting started. In the future, as we run ads for leads and we start to capture leads, what happens when someone opts in? You have two pages, right? They opt into page number one, your landing page, and then they land on page number two, your thank you page. That thank you page is a custom conversion, which is what we're going to run through here. And that thank you page is also a custom audience, right? That's buyer guide leads, right? So that's your, your audience right there, buyer guide leads. Once we start to run it, once we get to, let's just say, let's call it maybe ad number, once we get to ad number three, let's say ad number three, ad number four, and we have, and we have 50, 60, 70 leads. That's when we then take the buyer guide lead audience. We really want, we really want a hundred leads. Once we have a hundred leads on that buyer guide lead in that buyer guide lead audience, that's where we really scale. That's, that's where we now take the buyer guide lead audience and create a lookalike audience around that. That's when we tell Facebook, hey, man, here's 100 people that bought my stuff or here's 100 people that opted into my stuff. These are my exact avatar clients or, or prospects, I should say. Now we go create a lookalike audience and Facebook will now go and find you more people like that that are actually that, – that have all that same interest of those initial – 100 and now we're basing it off of an actual lead not a through play okay does that make sense yeah yeah so 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 that's that's the ultimate scale that's the ultimate scale is when you're actually taking the audience of the real objective the audience which is the buyer guide lead if you're selling necklaces online and you got four different colors it's the, it's the it's the audience of 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 those that bought the red one you take uh, that audience and 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 go and Facebook goes and finds you hundreds of thousands of more that resemble people that like the color red, that buy necklaces. It's very crazy. It's the the AI is very insane, uh, and that's why Facebook continues to crush it. So, but again, consistency. It's all about staying consistent. So, right. so that's that's an audience we're going to really really crush in the future. Buyer guide leads once we really start getting leads. So we got the we got the custom audience that through play. We got the look like now. Let's go run the ads. So three lines. Go to ads manager, and let's just run this thing quick. important let's say for example you leave that one checked let's say you leave that one checked and you're like damn i just i just for whatever reason it just it went it, it got by me and then you go and click create because now we're thinking about running the next ad the next ad will run off of that one. Oh, so you okay. always want to make sure everything's unchecked perfect okay cool so now create so we'll click the the green the green create and now now we're going leads this is where um where it's now game time. So hit, hit continue. So now we're going to just go through our, our three basic steps. Just the, um, the, the first step, which is campaigns. We chose the objective, which is leads. And then over here, we're, 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 we're going categories and we're going housing. And then let's give it a name as well. So on the campaign tab, all I do here is I'll simply put intro video, um, intro video. Actually, no, I'm so sorry. This is not intro video. I'm so sorry. Oh, this, this is an ad. Well, well, intro video was an ad too. But this is ad number two. So this is your buyer guide. This is so just give it whatever name. Um yeah, buyer guide one, buyer guide first video, buyer guide video number one, whatever, like buyer guide one. And then um yeah, put put video and then in parentheses the actual objective, which is um, which is which is leads. Okay, buyer guide one video, perfect, leads parentheses. That's it, perfect. Housing, that's it. Next. So that's step one. Always making sure you choose you choose housing. Always make sure you 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 um, click leads for the objective. Now over here we're simply and we can title it at the top once we fill in everything at the bottom. We'll come back and title this one. So here we're telling Facebook the conversion location is the website. I'm driving people to my web page to my landing page, and right there you'll see your pixel Sharon Bell Realtor. Down below you'll see uh, con you're the conversion event. So here is where we're telling Facebook, hey, here are my two pages. Page one, page two, but here, the conversion event, that's page two. So this is where I'm telling Facebook, out of these two pages, it's page two that's the most important. This is where I'm trying to drive traffic to is page two, the conversion event, uh -huh. right? So so that's why a lot of times 
I'll talk to agents and they're like, David, I didn't capture any leads. And then I look into all this and none of this was set up. They're running an ad just on video views and they're just trying to get people to watch the video, but they're looking for a lead, but none of this was set up. Yeah. And then they wonder why, you know, nothing came in. So, so that's super important, the conversion event. And X out of that to the right, just hit the X. Sometimes when you come here, it's blank. Sometimes when you come here, there's a red triangle, it's red, it's just like that blank. And, and all you gotta do is just click on it find your custom con and sometimes yours is not at the very very top sometimes it'll be at the very very bottom so all you gotta do is just scroll down and, and remember what you named it right um i'll always name the custom conversion what i named the custom audience right that's also the name of our custom audience so, uh, so buyer guide leads perfect okay cool so and then anything else sire seller guide leads would be based on the thank you page list uh, listing one one two three division street that would be the name of the custom conversion leads, right? That'd be the name of the custom conversion for a listing funnel. Got it. So name it the exact same so you don't get lost. Na name it the same as the custom audience, but but what I'm trying to say is that yeah, around every no matter what the 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 ad may be, a listing, a open house, a seller guide, a buyer guide, it's all about the thank you page. It's all about the thank you page. That's the thank you page. Buyer guide leads, the conversion event, the custom conversion. Okay. So, um, so now scroll down, scroll down. So now we're going to go down to, um, budget. So go ahead and, and again, whatever, whatever is, 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 is allocated for a 30 day period. And, and here's really where it starts. I would go, I would go right now. This is, this is ad number one. I know we did the like ad. I know we did the intro video, but this is now ad lead ad number one. So, so now I really think the 30 days should really start. So whatever the budget is over the next 30 days, just, yeah, divided by two, 300. Yeah. Perfect. 150 on this one. Perfect. So start date. Start date. We're still early in the day. Whenever, whenever it's before noon, I'll always schedule the ad to go live the next day at 6 a.m. So 24, 6 a.m. But if we were afternoon, if it was 1 p.m., 2 p.m., then I would have scheduled it to go live on the on the 20 on the 25th Saturday at 6 a.m. Just so I can give Facebook plenty of time to review it, plenty of time to approve it, and there's and there's no delay. Because there, if, if there is a delay, then it cuts into the budget. Like and we're if going two weeks. Months. Yeah, we're going yeah fifteen days. Yeah. Oh wait, I did October. Wait a minute. Oh no, this yeah, scoot it back. Yeah, yeah. The end date they'll always by default they always push it push you forward. So that'll be the first. So we're going the eighth. Perfect. Yeah, six a.m. Six a.m. Now we come to our audiences. So click inside the box, search existing audiences. Now you'll see your audiences. So see, there's your special ad on it. See over here, it's labeled special ad audiences. On the other side, it was labeled lookalike audiences. Mm. Click, click on special ad audiences real quick. Yeah, see, they, they didn't add in here. Dang it. So so that, um, yeah, see, so, you're, so technically you're supposed to be quote unquote special ad audience because you're housing. Um, but by but by but by default and the way the system would used to work, I mean, been working for the past few years, it was always just called lookalike audience. So it just hasn't updated on your end. Hit custom audience and let's see. Um, yeah, see the lookalikes aren't even there. The lookalikes aren't even there. The lookalikes aren't even there because yeah, in in housing they're doing they're doing something with that lookalike audience. Damn it. Okay, cool. Well, in this case, in this case, no big deal. What we'll do is we'll just retarget. Okay, so. No big deal. We'll retarget these audiences. Um, let's retarget the intro video through play. Or no, 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 I'm so sorry. The intro video. Actually, no, yeah, I'm sorry. The three the through play. Not that we're not gonna do the 25%. We're not gonna do the intro 25. We're only gonna do the intro through play and then click the click in the box again, search existing audiences. What's what's the other one? Is there any um buyer guide page visitors? No, we don't that one's not really big enough. Um people who engaged no we'll just go with the through play let's just target that audience perfect no big deal awesome so locations we'll hover over locations and we'll um and we'll hit edit and then just x out yeah x out the united states and then just put in and here's here's the thing too i had a had a very detailed a very good detailed call with my facebook rep what's today friday on on tuesday on tuesday when you start to spend like a few not even a lot just a few thousand or whatever you get you get your fate own your own Facebook rep and you can kind of you know schedule calls with them and ask questions and all that stuff. But I I specifically was telling her that our, you know, I focus on real estate agents and our targeting is local and it's in this city. And she said the best way to target is going off of an address. If if you're if it's that niche and we're really targeting just a local area, 
mm. go off off the address. Um, but you can oh. go off the whole city if you want. It's up to you. Nice. Okay. So well, people, we'll just try city. Yeah. So people living in this location or people recently in. So all these. So you're going after buyers. So maybe maybe the first one. Yeah. People living in or recently in this location. That would be a good audience. And always go with that. So from this point on, the drop down people living in or recently in always go with that option with with that uh, selection, and then the 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 city here, yeah, always go with that Oceanside. Sure, and then, sure. should I type an address? I I would I would I would tar I would, and you know what? How big is Oceanside? What's the population? Um, Google I don't it real know. quick. Google it real quick. What's the population? So in this case, we can type in the city. Oceanside, California, and then the mileage. You can go up to 50 miles. So see if that yeah. does that cover every, hit enter. Yeah, type in the number and then hit enter. Yeah, that's I would like to do 50 miles if possible. Yeah, that covers it's only 150,000. And mm -hmm. that pretty much picks up everybody in San Diego and all the way up to Riverside. Maybe not that far. We'll go uh let's go 40 miles. Perfect. So so this right here is is your stomping grounds. So from yeah. this point on, and, and this is what we're going to name the title at the top. We're going to give it a little name, Oceanside, 40 miles, just so we can put it in, in, the, in the title. And we can have a, a, a little brief description as we look at the dashboard. We can just know what ad that is. So Oceanside, 40 plus miles, perfect. Um, okay, good. So that that run with that targeting for the next, I would say next few months for sure, just focus in on on that, on that exact 40 mile radius. And and that's why a lot of times, yeah, I'll speak to clients and like, yeah, David, I want to target this area. I want to target that area. I even want to target that state, another state. And that's cool. You could for sure do that. But in the very, very beginning, um, it's all about data. Well, actually in the very end, the entire process, it's all about data. So if you can focus in on one area and just go hard in this one local 40 mile radius, for example, and capture tons of data that that and then become successful at that first right make that successful first and then go and target other places right get yes. your money back get your money back by going after one area first and then and then if you want to dominate the freaking state okay well then shit target the whole damn state if you wanted to but but until then like let's just narrow in narrow and dominate this area first so so stick here is what i'm trying to say stick here for at least a good a good a good two to three months Actually, let's uh, go ahead and make this. That way the audiences just keep getting bigger. That's what I'm trying to say. It's all about the We want the audience to get bigger though, right? So let's Yeah, let's keep it at 40 miles. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Our custom audiences to get bigger. Perfect. So scroll down. Okay, we're good there. We're good there. Um, none of that. We don't need to change any of that. Placements. This is another form of testing. So again, we're testing audiences. We're testing in this case, what are we putting there? We're putting, we're retargeting and, and put that in the title. So scroll all the way back up, up real quick, put that in the title. So Oceanside 40 miles dash dash um, retargeting um, intro, intro through play, right? Just so we have a brief description. So perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. So now we'll scroll down and then, so the audience is a form of testing. And then also down here is a form of testing the placements. Sometimes we'll run ads to advantage plus placement and just let Facebook put it wherever they, they place it. But a lot of times, 90% of the time, we'll go manual placement and just place that ad where we want it placed, which is really just the newsfeed. So, so if I'm dealing with a smaller budget or if we're just getting started, maybe I'll go manual placement. I'll uncheck messenger. I'll uncheck audience network. I'll scroll down and I'll so so if you leave it on it advantage, right? If you were to leave it on advantage, then everything below is checked. That's all it is. Got it. Right. But if I if I don't want everything checked, then I go manual. And so here's what I'm suggesting. Um, we go manual. And again, this is a form of testing. On our next ad, maybe we go advantage placement and let Facebook put it everywhere on our next ad, right? We'll test. Okay. So so here, let's go for sure. Manual placement. We'll uncheck. So scroll down. We're gonna uncheck in stream. So take away the in-stream, take away the overlay, uncheck search, uncheck in article. We're going to check everything actually below. We're going to only leave it in the feeds. I want on the Instagram feed, on the Facebook feed. Um, and then, and then is there, where'd the marketplace go? Hit the drop down by, um, by feeds. There's, there's those arrows to the left of the words to the left, to the left, those little, can you click on that? Does anything open up? Yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. So yeah, see, so shit, we would have left all that. So you didn't, 
normally, I mean, before it, used to just, it was just one layout just like this. You never had to click that little drop down. So I guess now everything is tucked in the drop down. Okay, cool. So yeah, uncheck everything. We're only leaving Facebook feed, Instagram feed, and, and marketplace. No, leave marketplace. So it's only those three. So manual placement, only those three. That's it. it. So uncheck everything. Uncheck everything down below. Keep going down below. There's more. <clears throat> so just, yeah, just, yeah. So I guess you got to uncheck all this stuff now. Um, so we don't want any stories. No, no, because the video is too long and it won't. Oh, and, that makes sense. And it, and it gets cut off. So that ad runs, you end up spending money on it, but then the person didn't even hear the call to action or the person Got didn't it. Hear, hear the whole story in bullet point number two, for example. That makes sense. Because it's too short and then you end up still getting charged and spending money okay. on it. Perfect. So so that's why it's the news feed where, where people are, are, where the majority of the attention is at. And that's where we can put long form video without a problem, right? It's not in any story or anything like that or a real. Perfect. So we're good. We're good. So now we'll scroll down and then maybe giving it that title at the top manual placement or just MP, MP, you know, MP um, in parentheses or something. So something just, again, that we can look at it, glance at it on the dashboard and know exactly what that, what ad that is. Because if you don't put a descriptive title like that at the, at the top, then you'll have to go into the ad, see it, look at it, all this freaking micromanaging it just to see what the hell went on when it's like, man, I don't want to do any of that. I just want to look at the damn title and know exactly what happened, right? So that's what the tiling is for. So scroll down. So we're good. I think, we, yeah, we're good. Hit next. And, and that's it. So now we're on the third and final step. The post is already on the business page. There's the Facebook page. There's the Instagram account. Scroll down. So the ad setup, click on create ad and just go use existing post. And all we're going to do is pull it from the page. So if you scroll down, you select post and that is it. So you'll see it here. Click on continue. Yeah, click on that and then click continue. And then now what we need is your Kartra page. So your actual landing page um, is going to be the button. So the call to action button. So we're going to simply um, hit the hit the call to action. Hit. The, so did you already did you already put a call to action button on that? I don't know. Something happened as I you were I, posting it. You added it. I did. Mm, okay. Okay. So. Can, and can, can I change can, it? That, that's a good question. So right here to the left or right here in the middle, send message. Normally you can, no up, call to action, send message. Yeah, so down here, normally you can, but but because you already put it there and because we're now in the process of running the ad, you you can't. Let me just, re, let me just repost it. Yeah, you can repost post it for sure. But that's why, that's why posting on the business page first, reviewing all the text, making sure... Everything is good to go before you go run the ad. Because now as we're at the ad, ad part, we can't change anything. Yeah. See, so, it, it asked me, do you want this? Let, and I was like, I guess. So yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. So no. let me just rerun it. Let, let, click on three dots real quick. Go to edit. This, this is what I, what I, what I, yeah, this is what I forgot. So create the audience around the new video, right? So the moment we, we post the ad and we, yeah, the moment we go and run the ad, which is what we're going through the setup of the ad is when I would have had you have done that. I would have had you, yeah, do this. So go to, we could do it now. Click the button, the blue button. You can always do it before or after. So in this case, we're doing it before. We're going to create the custom audience right now. And then we're going to go run the ad. So it doesn't matter. It's it, either before or after. So video and then next. And so this one, how long is this video? This one is a minute, a minute and a minute 40 something. And then here's another tip that I got from my Facebook rep. On conversion ads, it's 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 even better to start doing short, shorter videos. Shorter. Okay. Like she literally recommended 30 minute, 30 second videos. That's what seconds, I was thinking. Which I never, I never, me personally, I never taught, I never did, I never, I, I never, I never thought like um but it, it, it makes sense to where we're at now. Like we are now in this freaking era where no one has attention. We're all scroll, yeah. scrolling through TikTok. We're all scrolling through Instagram and we're literally, and now, now with YouTube shorts, it's just like TikTok. So it's like, dude, people are just scrolling and, and that video needs to be super short nowadays. It's not even funny. You know, Why isn't it posting, David? It's taking a long time to process. It'll, it'll, um, well, that one's, it'll it should be right below it. it. Should it should be below it? No. Go to um. Just go to your videos. So go to the top and go to more, and then click on click on videos. So now let's create the audience around this new video. So hit the drop down and and let's go let's go let's go through play. Let's go fifteen seconds. Um, 
choose videos in the top right and then um and then and then check yeah check the right page and then find that video okay cool so that was up, uploaded today's the 23rd yes today's the 23rd okay cool okay perfect 30 and then um audience name um this is your this is buyer guide video number one or whatever buyer guide video one and then in parentheses through play okay cool perfect so that's the audience for this video so let's just finalize this ad real quick now okay so okay so click done and then we'll go three lines and as manager Perfect. So we're going to add the new button, which is going to be learn more. And then you just paste in your landing page um, right there. Okay. So there's your landing page update post. And then we'll scroll down. Just make sure that, and you're on, as far as the tracking, so scroll down, you're all, you're always making sure that this box website events is checked. Okay. That box always needs to be checked. Sometimes you come here and it's not checked. So okay. check it. And if it's not checked, you you would check it, and then you would hit the drop down, and you would find your green dot. That's yes. your active Facebook pixel. So that green that dot always needs to be green. Okay, and then you publish, and that's it. So that's that's creating a a, a custom audience, creating a look alike audience, and and running your first conversion ad to your local area. That's wow. it.